Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 Tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading Capricorn. Okay, your card literally just fell over, fell out. So we have healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. Lovely energy. I'm seeing in the seeing the roots as well. You see the roots. I mean, you're very good at being rooted, planting firm roots, uh, having a strong inner core as well. Lovely energy there. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please, angels? What is the message Capricorn needs to hear? Thank you for May, twenty twenty one. Thank you. Yeah, just peace, peaceful resolution. Yeah, lovely energy. Okay. I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per week, though some of you are at different life stages, but the message remains the same. <clears throat> then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message Capricorn, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for our lovely Capricorns, please, for May 2021. What do we have for our lovely Capricorns? Thank you. What do we have for Capricorns, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides for May 2021. <clears throat> First card is out. Okay, I've gone back. It seemed more reversed. Death card reversed. When it's kind of like at that angle as well, it can be up at a reverse. So it feels like you're in between some kind of release is what I'm getting. The Queen of Wands... Temperance. Oh, lovely. The star. Lovely energy there. Capricorn. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorn. Thank you. I've got Temperance twice now. The Seven of Wands clarifies the Queen of Wands. Eight of Swords clarifies Temperance. And, oh, lovely, we've got the Empress and the Star, big energies towards the end. And Knight of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, so we have Healing the Past and Peaceful Resolution. The death card, like I said, it came out a little bit like that. So it can be where you're in between, where you're kind of going through the change, but it's not quite finished. It's not quite ended. It, it definitely feels in that energy. It feels like you're still adapting. I mean, there's a level of patience here. Um, the, the temperance card, you can see there's two cups. Sometimes they're represented as fire and water. Um, extreme energy, you know, that can be opposing, can pull you apart as well in terms of your emotions. But temperance is how to find the way through the middle of extreme situations. It is a peaceful resolution energy as well. So that might resonate for some of you, how to bring something to a close, shed an old skin, out with the old, in with the new. It's that kind of energy. And it feels like at the beginning of May, you're dealing with that. You're finding, uh, you're just in the thrust if you like of of finding how to do that bring something to uh an end because it feels like it's ongoing here what is this death card what is this death card please <clears throat> card of scorpio Queen of Wands is Aries. We've got two Sagittarian cards and an Aquarius and Pisces. It might well be one of those signs irrelevant for you. Or more. What do we have for, uh, for I was going to say Pisces, then you might be dealing with the Pisces. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Uh, let's clarify this death card. 
what does this death card mean thank you what does this death card mean for capricorn please what are they dealing with what they're dealing with angel spirits guides thank you okay tower You know, the tower energy is, it feels like you're avoiding something getting worse as well because the, the tower energy, again, the card came out a bit like this, which is interesting. The tower energy is a card of, of change, uh, a tearing down of the old. It's not necessarily destructive energy. It is a card of where there is release, there a tower needs to be torn down in order to embrace the new possibilities, to be aligned to the path that you're meant to be on. Um, but it, it feels in this situation, it's almost kind of like, you're wanting to avert something. It feels like avert, a complete... It can, it's interesting, in the, in the reverse, it can be about averting disaster. Hmm. You've definitely been challenged. I mean, it feels to do with a person. I mean, the Queen of Wands is male or female energy. It can be an Aries for me as a reader, like I said. Um, but it's also a card of intuitive action, how to really trust your instinct in taking action. You know, the seven of wands is standing up for what you know to be right, standing up for what you know to be true. If there has been some, you know, the tower can be about truth, revelation, um, something that has destabilized, maybe a relationship here I'm feeling, there is definitely an energy of you have the opportunity to take control of it with that Queen of Wands as well. Um, but it feels that you might have been challenged by somebody as well. And this is about standing up for what you know to be right, standing up for what you know to be true. Overcoming the challenge, but definitely standing in your power. And there's a perseverance, persistence to overcome the challenge that you face. It feels, it feels that you've been challenged. What is this challenge for Capricorn? What's this challenge for Capricorn? Earth signs really do seem to be needing um, uh, a lot more detail to your readings this month. There's too much there, but, you know, there's too many there, way too many there. I mean, you know, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which can be a card of independence, self-worth, self-esteem, money. Let's just clarify this seven of wands. So seven of swords, which feels like deception, lack of truth. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a victory card here. Victory, success, mental clarity, breakthroughs. It, it feels in this situation, Capricorn, that, I mean, you know, th there could have been a person in this, and it feels to do with a relationship here. Um, You've been standing up for what you know to be right, standing up for what you know to be true. It could have been there some truth that's come to light here. Um, to do with some kind of deception, lack of truth. Yeah, and it feels that's why the healing the past energy is coming here. Because it feels for some of you there is healing that needs to be done. And that temperance energy is just finding that happy medium. It's a card of... of alleviating the extreme emotions in a situation and just finding the solution the way through yeah, finding your flow it can like i said be some kind of reconciliation it feels for some of you somebody 
is wanting to make peace with the situation before there is a real tower moment here, before there is a real ending. Now, this can be a card of truth as well. There could have been some truth that's come to light. Uh, and this is about you being challenged, standing up for what you know to be right in the light of truth. It could be to do with somebody, or this is the energy of the Queen of Wands, being in your power, taking control, trusting your intuition in how to take action. Hmm. Because this this Eight of, of Swords is in it's generally inhibited thinking. It is the prisoner of the mind energy where we don't want to see it, we don't wanna, you know, we don't see the way forward, we don't It might well also be that there's blocks here. Someone might be blocking you or you might be blocking them. It, it, it feels in this situation, this Eight of Swords, there is a definite energy here of, of looking at the negative. And the more you look at the negative, the more the barriers go up in any, in any kind of reconciliation. Because you're being challenged here. This is about somebody who is who is wanting to overcome some kind of challenge. Um, but they're standing for, for standing up for what they know to be right, defending what they know to be true. So there's definitely an energy that there may have been some tower moment here. But it, it feels that somebody wants to avert dis disaster. I mean, there's, there's an energy of someone wants to reconcile, make peace. But I'm not sure someone's ready to do that right now. This is a card of inhibited thinking. Someone wants to find the solution the way, the way forward. Um, yeah. But there is a message towards the end of the month, Capricorn, that there is an offer. You know, this is the Knight of Cups, which is somebody who is offering love. And we have the star energy, which is about hope, faith, renewal, um, finding, you know, finding the right path for you. It's a card of blessings from the universe. You know, it's an absolutely beautiful energy, the star energy. It's a card of optimism as well. And again, the empress is a, is a new abundant energy. So there's definitely an energy here of new abundance coming your way. I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody who didn't want to reconcile, but towards the end of the month, there's new hope. You know, she is a nurturing energy. She is, now the time is right to plant those new seeds. Now the time is right for that peaceful resolution. Now the time is right for the new door to be opened. You know, she is very much a new beginning energy. Um, she is about the creation of something new. So very good in terms of love, romance, relationships very good in terms of money areas as well, but it definitely feels in this, in this instance, this is where you don't feel lack anymore. There is a new abundance coming in. There is a new nurturing energy coming in. There is a new fulfilling energy coming in, and it's to do with this Knight of Cups. It feels that there is an offer here that is actually bringing some kind of um, peace to a situation finally. Something's happened here. It feels like there could have been somebody blocking somebody as well. They just didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to deal with it. They were standing up for what they knew to be right, what they knew to be true. Maybe some truth came to light as well here, Capricorn. But there's an energy here. If this is to do with the relationship, they don't, one of you at least, doesn't want the tower to be torn down. They they don't want the ending. There is definitely a resisting of some kind of ending. Though it's hovering in the balance, I have to say. And it feels a... Uh, there is the opportunity for this beautiful energy to come in. This beautiful, fulfilling, uh, satisfying, uplifting, hopeful energy to come in towards the end of the month. And some peaceful resolution is coming. Yeah, Ace of Swords victory. I'm definitely getting this energy of Ace of Swords victory.
So I love the energy because there's definitely an energy of the crown that potentially could come crumbling down here with the tower. You know, the tower when it's upright, it can be about change, but certainly in this position, the message that I'm getting is this can be either or. It's hovering in the balance at the moment. But you will have full mental clarity in which way you want to go. But there is definitely some kind of breakthrough, victory, success coming your way. Or maybe some kind of decision in terms of which way you want to go. Uh, but nevertheless, there is absolutely, it feels some kind of abundant energy. And the Ace is the new beginning energy. Um, yeah. And you know, this... Page of Swords energy, which is a message of truth. It feels that this is this is the message of truth. Somebody expressing their feelings. And it feels that they're breaking through, not just maybe in your physical reality, but they're breaking through in your mind. If you're blocking them, if you're viewing them negatively, it feels like there is, they're breaking through the mental energy of the blocks that you've put up here. There is definitely some peaceful resolution coming here. But I have to say, it feels, it feels it's in the balance at the beginning of the month. But by the end of it, I'm definitely getting this is somebody who trusts their intuition. They don't take action when it doesn't feel right. They only act when they intuitively know it to be right. Um, so it might well be for some of you in this situation you're trusting your intuition but also getting the mental clarity in how you want to move forward it feels that there is some kind of breakthrough it feels somebody is breaking through the block the challenge that you've experienced it feels to do with a relationship and there's definitely an opportunity to heal this whatever this was and it feels like some truth or deception or uh, covertness has been going on here, Capricorn. Maybe there's been some revelation here. Um, yeah, but there's definitely an energy of there is an opportunity to avert something ending completely because reconciliation is available to you. There is still hope. Wow. Okay, big reading for somebody. As I say, the cards are what they are, you know. <laughs> Let's see what we get as a final message for Capricorn, please. Yeah, you see, I just see this cleansing energy with purity. The white is, you know, the alchemist's color of transformation. And again, we see that a lot in the death card as well. It is, okay, I'm cleansing, I'm wiping the slate clean. It just feels that kind of energy. Um, always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. So the answer comes from the heart. This is, the, the clarity isn't with the mind here, you know, there's definitely some kind of breakthrough here, but it definitely feels like you have to judge this offer, this opportunity from the heart. That's what brings the clarity. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all, Capricorn, and I will see you next time. Thank you.